Hey guys, it's Kim here and I thought I'd do a quick little catch up with you because I've got a lot of things coming up and it would be nice to come and sit down and chat with you guys about what's going on. Um, so we've got a lot to get through today so let's just dive straight in. Um, first up uh, is something I've been doing with BAFTA. Now if you don't know BAFTA, as well as doing the Film and TV Awards, they also do a lot of stuff in the gaming division and at the moment they're running this thing called the Young Game Developers Competition where young people can develop a game, submit it and they can win some prizes. And as part of this, BAFTA have been filming an ongoing series um, sort of going around different UK studios, gaming studios, and taking a look at how they work from how a game is uh, developed all the way from basic concept all the way up to the final product to specific roles such as sound engineer, animator, all kinds of roles and people and amazing things. And it's been a lot of fun to shoot. So far I've been to places like Jagex, Unity, Sega Hardlight. I've just done a shoot at Criterion and I've got a few bits and pieces coming up, um, so a few more shoots underway. Unity is already up on their YouTube channel and Jagex has just gone up as well. Um, I'm not too sure when the other next episodes will come out but I'll let you know. Um, they're liked and favourited on my YouTube channel but I will also put links to BAFTA's um, Young Game Developers channel as well in the blurb below. So be sure to check it out if you're interested in getting into the games industry. It's really good kind of starting point, you know, where to go, what kind of role I think I could fit in, how to get into it. There's also some really cool A Day in the Life of videos as well, which um, where we went and we talked to someone and went through their kind of daily life in their game studio, so that's pretty good as well. Take a look, it was a lot of fun to shoot, and um, one of the guys I've been working with, who's the kind of director camera guy on it, um, his last piece of work was Louis Theroux's um, series that just went out on BBC One. Um, it was like, uh, I think it was called LA Weird Stories. And um, yeah, so I asked him, what was it like coming from a year of living in LA with Louis Theroux to directing me talking about video games? So I, I tried to do my best Louis Theroux, you know, so why are you a games developer? No, what does... But um, I don't think channeling Louis Theroux really is the best idea for chatting to people about their job and their life and getting you guys interested in joining the games industry. But I'm pretty proud of the series, so um, yeah, take a look. Next up, um, we're going to talk about uh, Comic-Con and E3 and upcoming events, and for this bit I'm going to throw over to myself and Hannah um, because we, uh, we're doing a, a lot of these events together, so I thought it would be best if we tell you about this together. So, through the power of video editing, here we go! Okay guys, so I found Hannah. Hello. In Hannah's room. Hello. Uh, and yeah, uh, this bit we're going to talk about Comic Con and what's happening, or sadly, what's not happening with Comic Con. Hannah, do you want to take it away? Um, well, we tried to do something very, very similar to what we did with Res, mm -hmm. but on a smaller scale. Tiny scale. Um, however, we had difficulties getting it organised. Yeah. Um, so. Sadly, we're probably not going to be attending this year. Really sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, basically all the deals that we had on the plate and all the things we we're trying to organise fell through um, and we can't get them back on the table. So yeah, we just can't attend. Um, and yeah, we're really, really sorry about that. Um, I know that some of you have been tweeting me and saying that you excited to meet us. I'm really, really yeah. sorry. Like, I really, I really do feel bad about this. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, we just can't go. But we are looking at organising proper meet and greets again on a similar kind of thing at, that we did at Res, but smaller um, at future events. So if you've got any suggestions for events you'd like to see us at, um, just let us know. And um, especially if they're sort of in the in the very distant future, because yeah. the more time we have to organise around it, the better. Um, yeah, but you know, it's not all bad. We've got some cool content coming out soon, which is why this one's dressed up like a chav. <laughs> <laughs> look How at you. dare she? You look like a thug. You I am like a thug. A, you look like a tiny thug. In it, bruv. Oh, so gangster. <laughs> so gangster up in here. Um, so, uh, if I've done all my editing and scheduling correctly, uh, this is out on a Friday, and we are actually in Paris today. Mm -hmm. um, how, cr how crazy is that? I for, know. Like, you know, time traveling. Um, because we've gone to go and see Watch Dogs, um, which is, yeah, yeah. a bit. Um, yeah, we're really, really excited. Um, yeah, yeah. So we're taking a look at Watch Dogs. Um, we'll have some vlogs, some interviews, some hands-on with the game. Um, so that'll be coming out on both our channels um, over the next 
couple of days, weeks, days, yeah, weeks. Like that. Yeah, I can't remember when the embargo is. 21st, we think. Yeah, I think that's when the embargo is. But yeah, you should be seeing some really cool content coming out from that as well. Um, yeah, and we'll also be doing Murdered Soul Suspect yep. in the future. Like, oh, quick, you know, quick hat change. Ha <laughs> ha! There you go. Uh, I think it's that way. That way. There we go. So we're, we're also very ready for Murdered Soul Suspect. Um, and also, we are going to E3. Yeah. Woo! That's um, amazing. So, yeah, it's going to be stressful. Yeah. Um, we've got a lot of full on schedule for that. So, both of us are going out for E3. I think a couple of the other guys are as well, but we're going together. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, that'll be really, really awesome. So, we've got a lot of cool, awesome, sexy, awesome. Not maybe cool, not very maybe sexy. Maybe not sexy. Just tired and sweaty and, and stressed. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, so, we've got a lot of coverage coming out soon. Thanks, guys. Bye. Next up, just a quick little announcement. I've got a brand new t-shirt on my Spreadshirt store. I'm really chuffed with this one. It is done by the ever-talented Nina Serena. Thank you very much, Nina. And it is a gorgeous design. It was the one that you guys voted on from my last vlog, but we had to change it a little bit. We took the um, the drawing that was me being carried by Simon and looking really grumpy, but we decided it was just a bit too unhappy and it wasn't kind of representative of, you know, the fun that we have at Yogscast. So we kind of made it a lot happier, a lot more friendlier, and um, yeah, just like I thought it was a cute design. We also channeled a little bit of um, My Neighbor Totoro. I don't know if you've seen that film, you should. Um, so as you can see, we kind of channeled the Totoro march there with everyone going down in ascending height order. Um, so thank you, Nina. That is absolutely gorgeous. I'm such a big fan of it. And it's available on the Spreadshirt shirt store now. Speaking of things going live, um, I've signed up and done a little thing with a company called Games Grabber. Um, they're an online website where you can kind of build up collections of games and find places to buy them. I thought it was a neat little idea and you guys are always asking me, you know, kind of what's your top horror games, what your top JRPGs and that kind of thing. And this was a perfect way of kind of answering that for you. So if you go and take a look, again, links in the video description below, um, you'll see that I've got a couple of collections up there um, with games, like I've got categories such as my Desert Island discs, so games that I will take away with me on a desert island, turns out there's quite a lot, my ultimate horror games, my ultimate JRPGs, things that I'm playing at home, things that I'm playing at work, for Yogg's cast um, on my channel, so you can kind of see a little bit more about, you know, just what I think about gaming and what my kind of favourite games are. There's also my equipment setup too, because I get a lot of questions of people asking what setup I use for recording, my headset, I get a lot of questions about the headsets. So yeah, all the information's over there. What's brilliant about it as well is if you want to check them out, there's links to buying those games too. So yeah, it's all there nice and helpfully, although some of the games I don't think you would be able to buy, because uh, one of them that I put up was uh, Saiken Densetsu 3, which is Secret of Mana 2, and I think the last time I checked on eBay that was going for about $400, so yeah, sorry about that one. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a pretty nifty thing. I actually need to update some of the collections because I massively forgot about two of my all-time favourite games, uh, Dishonored and Mass Effect series. Yeah, I, I honestly, Garrus, how could I do that to you? I'm so sorry, <laughs> that was terrible. Um, but I'm thinking of launching a little gaming series as well, so I, um, I might do a kind of like, why these are my favourite horror games, JRPGs, that kind of thing. Um, but I'm so busy at the moment, because um, we're running up to E3, and like I said with Hannah, we're heading out to E3, So, but soon I will be doing um, a series on kind of why I love these games, because do you know what, I'd love to talk about them. And uh, I love spreading the word of kind of obscure JRPGs and um, horror games as well. Um, so yeah, I will have a series coming out. Whether it comes out before or after E3, we'll see, because it depends how much I can get done in the time. Um, but yeah, check it out. It's a cool website, and um, I'll be adding to it continually as well. Um, yeah, and if you build a collection too, show me yours that's it from me today. Um, as you can see, I've got a lot going on right now. A lot of events to attend, a lot of videos to get done, a lot of series to launch. Oh god, I don't know how I'm going to do it all. Um, but it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, so if you don't see me so much on Twitter and things like that, rest assured it's because I am probably in the middle of E3 dying <laughs> a little bit inside. I'm also actually um, taking a few days off to go to my best friend's wedding. Um, she's a school friend of mine. Um, and she's getting married, she decided to get married in the Caribbean, so yeah, there's that, um, which is which is great, I don't really, she, it's, she surprised me with that, I've known her for about 
I guess 15 years now um, and that has surprised me um, that she's gone to the Caribbean and it's also surprised my wallet um, but yeah, so I will be offline for a couple of days um, next week, um, but there will be content coming out. As ever, we've got Outlast to finish off. Oh my god, you guys, there is some horrific stuff coming up in Outlast. Um, I've also done a little bit more Final Fantasy XIV with the old crew of Rhythian, Nalzi and Duncan. And um, yeah, I've also got the more of the Yorg coming up with Hat Films. I saw a lot of requests for that, so I've got that coming out. And Octodad with Duncan. Um, we were waiting for it to come out on PS4 because we wanted to do it with the pad because we thought it would be hilarious, and we've done it. Um, so that will be coming out soon as well. So as you can see, lots of stuff coming out on the channel, lots of things to get involved in. Please check out that BAFTA series. I'm really quite proud with it. Um, you know, it was a little bit different doing presenting in that way, not to camera. Um, and interviewing someone else and kind of keeping the, the thread of a, a shoot. You know, these shoots took, you know, good long days. You may be only like five, six minutes in the video, but my God, we took a long time shooting them. Um, so yeah, please check that out. Check out Games Grabber because I'm, I'm really looking forward to doing some videos on that. And um, yeah, see you guys next time, probably after E3. Bye for now.